I'm heading over to um, Vinnie Green. I don't know if any of you know what Vinnie Green is, but Vinnie Green is a secure um, unit for kids between the ages of 10 and 18. Uh, it's a prison, it's a kid's prison, you could say. Um, but I thought I'd go over there and take a look at it and let you guys uh, have a little look. I tried to find, they, they had an Ofsted report in 2019, which was pretty damning. Um, I can't actually find it though. I just can only find news articles and Excellent stuff which, which speak about heard. it. Um, and a couple of articles that show that, that, that say that they, um, they improved the lot. The they they improved the lot since then. So um, yeah, like I said, I'm just going to go up to take a look around, and that's it basically. Um, I promised I'd give a shout out to uh, somebody. So the bullet, James the bullet Thomas. There you go, mate. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for being my biggest fan. Um, I look forward to fishing tomorrow morning In with you. Yards, left, Hopefully we we'll catch road. um we we'll catch a nice big thirty pound carp. Or at least I will. <laughs> I let you net it for me though, alright? <laughs> alright guys, listen, I'm gonna um actually do you know what? I'm on the head cam anyway, so I just may as well just keep recording. Forgive me if I talk shit or have any road rage though. Um not that I get road rage very often, but driving in Bristol can get a little frustrated. Turn left onto Black Horse Road. You're probably getting a glimpse of me in the mirror, aren't you? In my wing mirror. Continue on Black Horse Road for you, half a mile. You notice if you could see it that my uh, Jamaica flag bandana has migrated to my head. Um, I'm covering my hair because I'm trying to grow some dreadlocks and uh, my hair looks an absolute state. <laughs> but anyway, we're rolling guys. We're auditing. Uh, do you know what? I'm going to be so annoyed at myself. Like, I've not been out auditing for like seven months and I'm a little bit frustrated because I could have been out um, this whole time but perhaps, you know, perhaps they did scare me a little bit. I forget with this head cam, you can catch me rubbernecking the girls, can't you? I'm terrible for it, man. But one day, one In day I'll probably mile, end up back, take the first exit onto Emerson's Green Lane. Right, I think we're pretty close now anyway. To, um, Vinnie Green. Where are you trying to go right here? Remember, go straight over. I went the wrong way. Come on then. One thing I will thank the lockdown, oh, like I enjoyed during the lockdown when the roads were so empty. Thank you, my lover. Nice lady, let me out. It could never be here, just here, can it? How many times I've walked past it? If it's just down here. In 300 yards of the roundabout, continue straight onto Emerson's Green Lane. It's like out the back of, um, out the back of the library.
Right, calm down, lover. My right away. In 150 yards, turn right. God knows where this is going to take right, you. Turn will arrive at your destination. Where is this taking me? Get out and try and have go and have a little walk to try and find it. Go and park the car up. Turn left, then you will arrive at your destination. Oh, it's looking like it's up that lane. Oh. Just go and park down here somewhere. Sharp right onto Black Horse Place, then turn right to stay on Black Horse Place. Yes, boss man. What are you saying? Yeah, I'm blessed, man. You? Yeah, man. Jamaicans are funny. You only chat to me because I got Jamaica flag on my head. <laughs> right. What am I looking for? I'm not looking at me. Looking in my jacket for my camera. It's not my jacket. Let's try and find this place then. You're still there with me, guys. I did bring my camera out as well. Uh, whether, whether we were actually here or not is a totally different matter. But I'm going to take a walk up that lane because that's where I thought it was. On Google Maps, like it just showed me like the front of a house. It's not looking like what I'm looking for. I mean, for, for all I know, this place could be shut down. To be honest with you. But we'll find out anyway. Get away. Was oh, this lane a dead end? Is it? What's that? Oh, where's that Vin Vinny Green? Is it gone? Is it? Which one? Got to go back out and round. Is it? All right, all right, mate. Sorry to bother you. Right, okay. So you think she's out around there? Um, I think I might know the building. Actually, something. But I thought it was a town, town hall, maybe. I don't know. We will find out shortly, I guess, guys. <coughs> I can't lie. I'm a little bit nervous to be out out here again. Like traipsing around with the camera. It's it's not nice being arrested all the time. <laughs> I mean, it's just lucky lot, and they seem to keep me for hours. I have 14, 14 hours in a cell over the two arrests. And that might not seem like a long time to you guys or to some of you, but I feel like 14 hours. I mean, New Year's Eve is annoying me because that was five hours in a cell at New Year. I'm supposed to be meeting my friends. Oh, fucking wasp landed on my face. Um, I'm supposed to be meeting my friends and stuff New Year's Eve, but instead 
I got violated by a detective inspector who then tried to violate leg legislation and then dropped the case. So it's one of the things actually I spoke to the inspector about. He, I said to him, I was like, look, but your officers just keep arresting me. And he said, well, that's something that we have to argue in court. I was trying to explain to him, I was like, but if your officers arrest me when they shouldn't, you know, from your perspective, you're good to deal with it in court. But for me, I have to spend the time in a cell. Obviously, you get like the stress and stuff like that of having to be in there. You know, it's not a nice, not a nice place to be in a prison, in a police cell. Nobody likes it. There's loads of um, tadpoles in there. So it's like, it's like, it's not nice, you know. So it's like, I'm hoping that they may leave me alone because I said to him at the end of the call, I was like, look, well, just so you know then, <laughs> I'm going to go back out. And he was like, okay, Wesley, thanks for letting me know. Um, <laughs> yeah. And then someone actually called the police on me yesterday. I didn't have my camera with me. I jetted out before um, before he came, but he's like this crackhead. He must he's just on he was on one a bit, smoking spice or crack or something like that. Oh look, there's Vinnie Green. I, I walked straight past it. I drove straight past it. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, he, but he kept standing. He's standing right behind me. And uh, I said to him leave me alone but uh, he just wouldn't but then they asked me to leave straight away because I'm going to have to I just get on oh no the battery's dead on my microphone ah oh, bugger Never mind. Hey, that was one for you, Joe Public. One of yours? <laughs> so this site is covered by CCTV. Anyway, so as I was saying before I came here about the um, about the uh, Ofsted report, I couldn't find the Ofsted report anywhere online. Um, it would have been nice to have read it before I came. I haven't seen any no entry signs as of yet. But I don't know if it's public public access. Drive around there. It's pretty secure for. Um, for uh, kids. There's only 24 children in here. Or well, there used to be just 24 beds. Um, as I said before, it ranged from the children, not the beds, <laughs> from 10 to 18 years old. Um, there was a, a big inquest here as well, actually, uh, back in 2017. An inquest into oh that's gated right now. That's not for public access. Is there public access around that way or no? No, just the road, just the public road there, yeah. Just the public road along, along there. Oh, it's not public, is it not? I couldn't see any no entry signs. That's all. Um, yeah, they just had a they had a inquest some child sex cases um, again not much information on there about that right. are you staff or gardener only staff, yeah. staff okay I was just wondering about the Ofsted report you guys had in 2019 couldn't find it online yeah. couldn't find it to read no but I heard that you guys did some like quite a lot of improvements after it's just what Oh, is this is the, are they available? Is it okay if I go in? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you.
No one, no one's going to come out. No, I'd rather not go in actually, just because of the. Oh no, there's no point. I just. Oh hello, mate. I basically, I was just, I was just come to ask you, see if I could ask you a question about your Ofsted report in 2019, and kind of more specifically what you did after to kind of change the things that were highlighted um, in it. What? Oh, is there somebody who who works there who can speak to me? Can about? I ask who you are? Sorry. Can I ask who you are? Yeah, I'm just covering a story. That's all. Was that a yes or a no? Don't really know what's going on. I should stop talking. <laughs> I guess she doesn't want to talk. She just stopped, she just cancelled the buzzer. <laughs> Is it still just 24 beds in here? Yeah. yeah. Just so I know, what's the boundary of your land? Okay. That looks like a bus stop. see what we can see around. I couldn't see another way coming back round but round back from around that side. But I know obviously they don't allow the the inmates out here. If I do see any inmates by the way I'm gonna be cutting my camera on this one because these guys are vulnerable and I, I am absolutely not about to um, to bother the, the vulnerable people inside here. That's not what I'm about. It's not what I'm going to do. See no entry sign up there, so we won't be entering up round there. Um, but yeah, as I said, if if I if I do come across any of the uh, any of the inmates. I don't need to be going around there industrial. They will think I'm up to something. Um, I will be cancelling the, the camera. <clears throat> Tell you what, I was nervous when I got here. It's nice, it's nice to be out. <laughs> Talking to you all again. <laughs> been nice to get out of that um It doesn't, there are no, no entry signs whatsoever, no parking, no parking between signs track, signs and fire track. Yeah, she didn't want to come out and speak to me. <laughs> expected that. Welcome to V1. 
to any degree. Here's some nice flowers. And this site is covered by CCTV. So cameras are okay. So you've got buttons to press for assistance up here, so public must be allowed. From what I saw on the aerial view of this place, they got like tennis courts. It looks quite quite a big place for just 24, 24 children. I couldn't tell you if any kind of like notable um, child criminals, is that what you call them? Child criminals, I guess. I, can't, I don't know if any notable ones have been in here. Because um, to be honest with you, there wasn't much kind of um, information about this place that I could find online. Like, sh a, sh a strangely small amount, to be honest with you. Um, which is a little bit weird, because considering this is a secure unit for children, I would have thought that potentially they would have wanted kind of, um, what do they call it? Like tra transparency, I guess, and transparency in terms of how they're looking after our young children, etc. Um, so yeah, it was a little bit of a shock actually not to find a great deal. Um, Hiya mate, how are you? Sorry? I'm Brad Henson. Hi, hi, Brad. Hand, but, uh, yeah, no, it's fine. Um, I understand from one of my colleagues you had some queries. I was just, I basically, I read, uh, I was looking for your Ofsted report from 2019. Okay. Um, I couldn't find it. Okay. So I basically, I knew there were some issues. So I was just coming doing a little story just to see if you guys have kind of sorted out. Obviously, you look after vulnerable people. You do a great job. Yeah, you're young you. children. So yeah, literally just that for my YouTube channel. Um, so there are Ofsted reports. Website. Yeah. Um, I know that sometimes they don't put things up for yeah. uh, security because they're Yeah, um, I guess because you have just 10 to 18 year olds here, don't you? Yeah, so just um, children. And, and I hope you understand if I seem a bit um, elusive, it's because I would be reluctant to confirm anything. I, 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 I totally understand, everybody's the same. <laughs> um, what I would ask is obviously, you're ultimately it's a public space on the road. We would ask respectfully that the cameras aren't used in the vicinity of the home because yeah. there is a security issue. Yeah, I don't. I'm not so worried about the security issue. More kind of where I come from, like I understand that you have vulnerable people here, and kind of I've, if I was to be in a position where I could be seen from inside by any of your inmates, I would absolutely make sure I got out of the way. I'm not here to okay. try and stress anybody out. I understand no, I, totally. Yeah, and I appreciate that. I think the, the other concern we have is that we we wouldn't want to be. Um, you know, putting footage or facilitating footage going out, which might um, give people ideas about what they may or may not do on the premises. I mean, what we'd like to do I'm is. I'm not sure what you mean, sorry. Well, we, what we want to do is publicise you know, videos about people walking into various extensions. They can walk around the perimeter. But um, kind of where do your grounds start? Because obviously you have the wall and yeah. your perimeter, which I would assume would be where kind of this, people are allowed up to. You know, a car park for yeah. visitors and okay. there's a degree of um, confidentiality and discretion that the visitors would expect. And I, I, I understand that. Like yeah, of course, I understand that. I understand well. totally. Yeah, um, I do. I understand that I'm a, I'm a sensitive place, which is why I kind of I am trying to be mindful. Yeah, I appreciate that, um, yeah. At the same time, I also try exercising. My, obviously, I'm just making a, a documentary, but I'm not trying to step on any no, toes, I obviously. And we're having a civil conversation. Yeah, of course, right. mate. You're a nice guy. You're approaching me a hell of a lot better than most um, people do. No, I mean, the reality is, you know, we have um, nothing to hide, of course. Yeah, of um, course. What I would suggest is I can give you a contact for the council's, I've uh, spoke about the council, obviously. Yeah. Uh, the council's um, media kind of contact. Yeah. Um, and that's in the sense of actually something positive for you. Yeah, definitely. Uh, someone you can speak to and kind of give you information that realistically we work here, we are media types, we just focus on just the care of the young people. Yeah, of course, and uh, I, I think and that's great. they'll be able to give you the information you need. Yeah. And I don't know if you've got a pen and paper. But I, I don't, but if you say it, I'm recording. Okay, so, um, so it's uh, Daniel Ward is the name of the chap. Yeah. And it's Daniel.ward, yeah. W-A-R-D, at southwest.gov.uk. Yeah. What I would ask is, with the greatest of respect and humbly, um, what we don't want to do is also have actively people from staff um, kind of going out in terms of 
images appearing, mm -hmm. um, I would appreciate that you use the element of discretion. Um, of course, I'm not going to get any staff vehicles or staff entering or exiting or anything like that. And my focus is not the people here, essentially. My focus is the work you do, um, and well, specifically how you bounce back from quite a damning Ofsted report. Okay. But four days later, um, there are quite a lot of publications about you guys changing things. So. It's, it's, it's a good reason why I'm here. Well, Daniel yeah. will be the ideal person really yeah. to speak to, and then you know it's all kind of been done above board, and it's a, an accepted conduit, it's a transparent conduit, mm -hmm. which I would hope that you would recommend. No, I understand that. As, as I said, I just want to re-emphasize, obviously, the, the protection of the staff here no, as well. No, absolutely. And just ensuring, really, that the images aren't used of staff that, that could be used to identify them by people who might want to do them harm. Um, no, well, there were no, as far as I'm aware, no staff came out to me other than you, and um, your face is covered. I didn't know covered. if you came up with your camera on to the reception at all. I oh, I didn't come in, I didn't. Spoke to someone. Yeah, no, just on the intercom, though. Okay, yeah. no, no one's been captured through the glass. Uh, or no, I think so you, like, you've got privacy glass anyway, isn't it? So, just, just be I, a reflection. Yeah, no, so, yeah, not that good. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, um, it's not great. <laughs> I'm on a side house, and I've no issue talking to you. Um, yeah. What I wouldn't want is for my face to be contorted and presented in a way that might be... But your face is covered anyway. Okay. So. I'll have to take your word for that. <laughs> no, 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 it absolutely is. With a, you've got a face mask on. Daniel would be the, the best person to speak to. Well, I have given you my name. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Um, Daniel would be the best person to speak to. Mm. Um, and I'd appreciate it if you don't publicise his name. Um, although I'm sure you'll probably find it through Google. Uh, yeah. If you're a, a Google man. Yeah. Um, look, uh, you know, appreciate your time. Appreciate that civil conversation. Yeah, thank that you. That would be the best avenue. What yeah, I would sure. also say is, purely in terms of security, you've told me that you're um, reporting. I have no reason to not believe that. Mm -hmm. But we have to be really sensitive to strangers in this area. Yeah, I understand. Um, for security reasons, I'm not here for any hostile reconnaissance. No, I, I'm not I, trying to break I, I in or break that. anybody out or anything like I that. that. Um, can I ask your name? Uh, yeah, I'm not going to give that. Okay, um, so I yeah. hope you can understand though that if we have someone who um, wasn't prepared to identify themselves walking around the area, that might arouse some concerns for ourselves. Yeah, I understand that totally. Yeah, I appreciate that. Now, in but, the same um, way, if you had someone walking around your home, uh, at home, yeah, you might be a little alarmed if they were looking over the fence and saying, "I'm." I haven't looked over a fence. fence. <laughs> looking around the fence. I haven't really um, been looking around the fence. I was just, I walked around. I did walk around there, but um, as soon as I saw that um, you had gone to like storage area or something around there, it's, it's, it's I, a fire exit I, track, I basically so that's a fire exit around there. When he's clearing. Access. Oh, okay. When he's clearing, then, because there's loads of bags no, and stuff like that. It. There's, it's not purely that. There's a track and that's. Okay, clear. okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Once I noticed okay, I couldn't get through around there, I, I um, I came back round here. So uh, yeah, absolutely. I'm not going to um antagonise anybody. I've just finished my little story. I'm five five or so minutes away, just talking, and then I, and then I'll be off. Well, look. Um, you know, please, Daniel. Um, we have a public access. If you ever felt the need to come up. Yeah. Certainly asking myself. Yeah. I'm the business manager here. Okay. Um feels like we've had a yeah, no, yeah, I mean, I'll be honest with you. Usually people come out all guns blazing and uh, they never, like, I tell them what I'm doing and I'm like, yeah, well, what story? What's the story about? What's yeah. this? What's that? And the other. And it's a bit like, whoa. You know, we are all humans, aren't we? Just yeah. trying to make our way in the world. Uh, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, we, uh, we recognize that we live yeah. in the world that um, everyone likes to know a bit about what they're doing. Absolutely. Like see a bit more, so, yeah. But yeah, again, like I said, man, great, honestly, great work here from what I can find out. Um, you guys, you guys, I mean, I have a lot of respect for you guys. You look after our most vulnerable. I mean, 10 years old and in a place like this, they have to be vulnerable. So I appreciate you and all your staff for that. Genuinely, it's not a load of crap. That's from my heart. Well, I appreciate that. And uh, obviously, I'm specific. But, no, that's um, fine. I, I, I understand that. That's really, that's really nice to hear. I know you've got a, when you look on Google Maps, you can see like the overhead view of the place yeah. and it looks nice um, inside. You know, we, we have to be secure of us. No, I, I get it, okay. totally. No, I mean, if you want to go on Google, you can look at a map on there. Yeah. And I'm sure if you look at the various versions over the years, you'll see the things we've done, yeah. things we've improved, things we've added. Mm -hmm. so. no, that's great, man. Thanks for, thanks for being civil and cordial yeah, with me. I look, appreciate it. We may never speak again. Yeah. I certainly hope that um, there's no um, kind of uh, any media that might appear that would um, be disproportionate to what we talked about for example. No, 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 not at all. You don't have to worry about that. We're we're good. Um, thanks thanks for speaking to me. Yeah. Anyway. Ed, appreciate you giving me name. You can call me Ed. 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 Ed, yeah. Ed, is there any indication that you work any name of a, an organization? Uh, I do, but I'm I'm not gonna it's give just that either. If someone said that X company or X organization put a video out, 
it would be about me then saying I spoke to this a gentleman yeah. uh, representing that group. No, it's not. I'm not mainstream media anyway, so I, I, I doubt that you would um, see the video unless you well, specifically I search for like Vinnie Green. like a very competent person, so it sounds like a professional, really professional um, uh, packet, Well, so. I try. <laughs> yeah, I like the camera. <laughs> Thanks. Um, listen, yeah, I'll, I'll leave you to it. Yeah, no but, worries, man. Uh, Have a... I would ask is, though, with, with no due disrespect whatsoever, uh, you know, it is just... We have to always be security conscious no. of the age we live in. I understand I totally. I would say, I would really, really um, respectfully ask that um, you just be mindful of your, where your presence might be and how that might be interpreted. If I had a call saying that there was someone walking around here with what appeared to be something in their ear, that for me would be a, a worry security-wise. Okay. That might, but know, I've offered you an honest oh, you know story. Okay, respect, okay, yeah, yeah. You just mean spoken, before speaking. Yeah, no, I understand. I've gone out to get something from my car and I see this guy. Yeah. And he's got a camera and he's talking to it. Yeah. Um, I would be thinking, safety of our children, we have to be sure we... I understand that totally. However, on the flip side of the coin, um, there is no expectation of privacy in a public place. And just, I, I, like, I'm not going to be an idiot, but I could turn around and be like, I'm not going anywhere. I, and I'm, uh, not I'm not going to do that because you've been nice to me. Had you not come out like that, I would have. I, I, but... I know that's a whole conversation we can have for hours and hours. <laughs> but I guess it's just letting you know that rightfully or wrongfully, it's primarily about we have to be observant. You're a nice guy. Like I feel like a pris every prison needs a guy like you. Well, we're not a prison. Aren't you? What do you class us? A secure unit? We are legally and terms of our ethos, a secure children zone. And why, are the, uh, why are the cameras? Do you have razor wire? On the uh, other side of your wall. No, we don't use razor wire. And, and again, I, I wouldn't want to feel like either of us is being lulled into any kind of conversation. No, you don't have to um, ask, answer any of my questions. The spiritual and the Ofsted report will kind of absolutely use that terminology because that is how we are recognised legally. Yeah, um, okay. And, and I think perhaps let's both enjoy the sunshine in a different way. Yeah, I'm, going, I'm off to see my mum now. <laughs> You're going to go see mum. I <laughs> yeah. hope you and her are both well. I hope you have a nice day as well, dude. You, you seem like a, a nice guy. Yeah, no, I'm... I'm glad we've been on for a recent chat. Um, and as I said... Daniel Ward is your man. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah. Yeah, thanks for uh, um, being and, cordial uh, again. Metaphorical handshake. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Cheers, thank dude. You. Take care now. Can't argue with fairness, can you guys? So I'm not just going to walk away now, just out of principle, because I said I was going to finish. But that was Vinnie Green, as you can see. And in fact, just a little interpretation, or my own interpretation, just coming from that guy. Um, housing manager, did he say he was? Um, if the calibre of people are all like that, then this place is is really, really healthy in terms of um, in terms of goodness. Is everybody who works there as nice as him? Is everybody who works here as nice as him? I said, uh, I just said he was really calm and cordial and nice. I was just wondering if everybody had that same kind of manner in here. That's nice to that's nice to know. He said he thinks so. Yeah. All right. Anyway, guys, I am gonna go. Um, it's nice to have uh, an audit that doesn't go south. Um, that guy was nice. If, if I had a younger family member who was who had to end up in a secure unit um, and who had been looked after by somebody who was uh, who was like that, I mean, I know, you know, he might he might he might not be as nice as he seemed, but he seemed like a nice guy and somebody who I would be quite happy with looking after somebody who I cared about who was young. Um, yeah, I mean, so guys, that finally, excuse me, is um, Vinnie Green's secure unit. Had a shitty Ofsted report, but days later they invested a lot of money. They're obviously, they said they're council owned, so probably South Gloucestershire City Council owned. Um, but yeah, I'm just literally from the small amount I, I did see and from what I said earlier, uh, just a few days after that Ofsted report, they they changed things. Um, they did have the investigation into the child sex abuse. Um, I don't know if I said earlier or whether I stopped talking halfway through, but you know they were looked at, and uh, and as far as I've read, nothing was found. So 
I don't think that this, um, or in fact, I don't, not that I don't think, I know that um, as far back as I have gone in terms of research, there have been no cases of abuse against children in this particular children's home. Um, anyway, finally, to cut my to end my video, because <coughs> I'm going to go shortly. Um, now that I'm back out on it, guys, and I am going to be back out on it, uh, let me know if there's anywhere you want me to come. Maybe I can come to a children's home near you. <laughs> so, anyway, guys, listen. Vinnie Green.